Okay, so I've got a Wii mode here, just for the original Wii console. And if you click a button, these uh, little LEDs at the bottom go blue. So I wanna see, following this iFixit guide, whether I can change these LEDs um, using lots of little S&D ones that I have lying around. So the first thing it says to do is remove the back part of the Wii remote and the batteries, makes sense. Use a flathead screwdriver, undo the screws. So there's one, two, three, four there. There we go. It's not a perfect fit, but it works. Gonna lie the screws here, so there's four of them. One here, and then there's two here. Hoping my screwdriver fits in there. Yeah, I think it does just about. Next, use a flat screw head driver, or maybe fingernails, to pry apart the two pieces. There is a clip on either side of the D-pad, which needs to be this. I don't really want to just pull it. I don't think that's right. Okay, right. So you had to actually press the buttons in. Okay, so a button just flew out somewhere. So I got all the pieces out, all the buttons and everything came out. And I can see the LEDs there. One, two, three, four. They look like 0603 LEDs, which is kind of what I expected. I'm just gonna use this little tape roll here to stick all the buttons in. So I'm just gonna test whether I can still test the LEDs. So, there we go, I can still test them. So I guess now it's just a case of removing them and then sticking my new ones on. So I'm gonna use some flux. I'm also gonna use a fiberglass scratch pin. I am gonna remove the first LED. So what I like to do is hold on one end and then stick some solder on the other end as well and then kind of go back and forth. There we go, the first one's come off. It's actually stuck on the one pad there. I think I got too much solder on the end of that iron. I'm not quite sure why it's taking so much heat. Okay, there we go, so that's come off. The pads look okay. And I'm just gonna move that old LED the other way. There we go, so the old one's there. I don't need that. And now I'm gonna test them just to make sure the controller still works. So what we should be seeing is that the rest of the the rest of the LEDs work, but that one just doesn't work, which we do. Now we've got to figure out which side is positive and negative. So I've got some blue LEDs here, and then I've got another color. I don't know what they are. Thinking about it, I just pulled a blue LED off. So I don't think I'm gonna put blue back on. I'm also gonna get some tweezers because that's how I like to do my SMD stuff. So I'm gonna get some of these tweezers that are really thin. And I'm gonna get the new LED. What I'm gonna do is look at the polarity, meaning the positive and negative indicator on the back of the LED. And I'm just gonna test it on a random one. And then if that works, then we know the rest uh, the rest of the LEDs are the same because the symbols on here are the same. So that little LED there, I don't know if it's gonna focus. There it is. So that is what I'm gonna put on this pad. I'm gonna do it so that the line, so that it's like a little T shape like this. So it's like a little T shape like this at the minute. 
I'm going to flip it the other way around and do it that way. Because I think the positive is at the top. And I just lost it. <laughs> Get another one off here. I'm just going to take a couple off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get my fiberglass scratch pin and just go over that point. That's just going to expose, you know, just clean the point up and make it a lot more shiny. Then I'm going to get my flux and just put a little dab of that on the point. Just like that, literally just a little tiny bit. Better to have too much than too little with flux. So I'm going to pick up the LED, make sure the polarity is right, run my iron through that, and then literally do you want to go on, to go on it. Okay, and the one end is attached now. Now I'm going to get my solder, heat up the other end and stick some through. Kind of anchor that down and then go back and anchor that point. So now that should be connected and working, assuming that the positive and negative are right. So I click the button, you can see it doesn't work. So that tells me that the positive and negative are wrong. I move the LED, so I'm just going to turn it around like this. There we go. So that is the right end. It looks connected to me, and by checking the positives and negatives, this should work. And it does. There you can see, it's red. Holding the sync button on the back of the console as well. Oh, it's not actually, yeah, there we go. And that looks right, so. Um, I've got an option now, what to do with the LEDs. I could either replace this one so it's like red, blue, red, blue, or I could do the others a different colour. Let me have a look what other LEDs I have. Um, I've got these LEDs, I don't actually know what colour they are, but I guess we can find out ourselves. I'm going to leave that second one as blue, so I'm just going to go straight on to the third one. Remembering this time to take the batteries out before I sold them out. Again, solder in the one end. Oh, I didn't go on. Great. Soldering the one end. Get in the spool. the LED mod complete. Now, what I'm gonna do is get some isopropyl alcohol and clean up those points because you never wanna leave flux on any boards because after a while it corrodes it and makes it go all weird. And I've had some boards which don't look very nice after I open them again. So just to make sure this mod lasts a long time and that the controller is in good condition, I am gonna clean up all that flux. So let me get some IPA real quick. So I'm just going to get this little swap here and just spray a little bit of alcohol on it. 
and then just rub those LEDs down the spots and that's just gonna clean up the alcohol okay so you can see now they're nice and clean and they still work great now we're gonna reassemble the console making sure now I turn the soldering iron off and that that IPA doesn't get anywhere near it Okay, so I learned from my mistake with this because I realized instead of putting them all on here, you could just stick them in here. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. And I should be able to just stick this on here. Wiggle in these pieces. They all clip on. Test all the buttons quickly to make sure they still click, which they all do. get my screwdriver get the screws I'm gonna do these bottom two first just because that's the bit which is kind of bulking out a little bit okay so with those four screws back in I can go ahead and Stick the batteries back in. Stick the back cover back on. So there it is. The LEDs successfully modded on an original Wiimote. It's all in there. The buttons all click. The speaker works, I assume. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it.